details to assembly drawing let us begin with the chapter today we will begin with the assembly drawing of footstep bearing now what is footstep bearing footstep bearing is used to support a vertical shaft that is if we want to support a vertical shaft which is rotating then the assembly that we will be using is nothing but the footstep bearing footstep bearing is also known as pivot bearing you can see here that footstep bearing is also known as pivot bearing now what are the various components of the footstep bearing assembly it consists of cast iron block a disc a bush and a pin so basically the entire assembly of footstep bearing consists of four important parts that is the cast iron block the disc the bush and the pin now we will see the assembly drawing of the footstep bearing so this is the detailed drawing of the footstep bearing that is the entire assembly has been exploded now you can see here the different parts which were mentioned earlier the first part is the body now this body is made up of cast iron the second part is the disc the third part of the assembly will be bush and the fourth part will be shaft so this entire assembly is used to support a vertical shaft which is a rotating shaft so this is the shaft which will be rotating or a power transmitting shaft in order to support the shaft we use the entire assembly of the footstep bearing so you can see uh, when we will perform the assembly operation this disc will be inserted inside the body at the bottom this is the bo bottom portion or the this upper part is cylindrical for the body the lower part is a rectangular block this part is a rectangular block whereas the upper part is cylindrical in shape similarly the disc is also cylindrical the bush is also cylindrical and the shaft is also cylindrical so majority of the components in this assembly are cylindrical in nature only the bottom part of the body is rectangular block the bottom part of the body is having slots inside it you can see this slot one two now this is the cut section or the half section of the body in the entire section or the full uh, part of the body you will get four slots slot number one slot number two similarly we will have two slots on the front side also now what is the use of these slots these slots are used to fix the body or to use for bolting the body on the ground that is to in order to fix the body on the ground we insert bolts through these slots so these are nothing but the foundation slots used for inserting the foundation bolts now this disc will be inserted inside the body and it will rest at this bottom portion now why this disc is provided students if we insert the shaft inside the body then the shaft or the lower part of the shaft that is this part will come in direct contact of the body and since the shaft is in motion there will be friction between the lower part of the shaft and this surface of the body that is the bottom surface of the body due to friction there will be wear and tear and the body will get damage because of friction between the shaft and the body so in order to reduce the friction or to eliminate the direct contact between the shaft and the body we use the disc now this disc will be placed here you can see a slot or a hole is provided on the left hand side of the disc similarly a hole is provided on the left hand side of this portion that is the body now why this hole is provided before inserting the disc we will insert the pin a cylindrical pin will come here half of the pin will go inside this hole and the remaining half of the pin will go inside the disc now this is necessary because we have to lock the disc with the body we have to lock this disc with the body because since this shaft is rotating or it is in motion if we do not lock the disc with the body there will be a tendency of this shaft to rotate the disc also so if this disc also starts rotating then what will happen friction will result between this lower part of the disc and the surface of the body so the use of the disc is not justified we have used the disc so that we can eliminate the direct contact between the shaft and the body as so as to reduce the friction 
but if this disc also starts move rotating then there will be friction between the lower part of the disc or the lower surface of the disc and this surface of the body that is the inner cylindrical surface of the circular surface of the body so friction will be there and ultimately it will result in wear and tear of the body so as to avoid that what we do we we'll lock this disc with the body by using a cylindrical pin. So we will insert first the cylindrical pin inside this hole. Half of the pin will go inside the hole, and the remaining half of the cylindrical pin will go inside the disc. So the disc will get locked with the body. So even when the shaft is rotating, the disc will not rotate with the shaft. So there will be no friction between the lower surface of the disc and this circular surface of the body. And also because of the disc the direct contact between the rotating shaft and the body is eliminated so there will be no friction between the shaft and the body and the body will be preserved but there will be shaft, the friction between the shaft and the disc because they are in direct contact so if the disc material gets eroded or there is a wear and tear of the disc material we can easily replace the disc students it is uh, not desired to have a direct contact between the shaft and the body because if the body gets eroded or there is a wear and tear of the material of the body we can replace the body also but the cost will be large or the huge so we use disc the replacement of the disc is less costly compared to the replacement of the body so we use the disc the next part that we will insert inside the body is the bush first we will insert the disc we will lock the disc with the body and then we will insert the bush now why this bush is used again for the same purpose if we do not insert this bush inside the body what will happen the shaft will be inserted inside the body and when the shaft will be rotating there will be direct contact between the lateral surface of the shaft that is the curved surface of the shaft and the inside curved surface of this body so due to direct contact between the curved surface of the shaft and the curved surface or the inside curved surface of the body there will be friction between the two surfaces and again the wear and tear of the body will occur so we have to replace the material of the body which will uh, which will be very costly so in order to avoid the direct contact between the shaft or the rotating shaft and the body on the side surface or the lateral surface we use the bush so what we will do first we will insert the disc we will lock it with it then we will insert the bush from the upside so this bush will get seated inside this hole or the hole inside the body cylindrical hole so now what happens this bush gets fitted inside the body now we will insert the shaft inside the bush so when the shaft will be rotating there will be direct contact between the shaft and the bush the shaft will not come in contact with the inner surface of the body so the friction between the shaft and the body is avoided by using the bush now there is a tendency that if the shaft is rotating it will have a tendency to rotate the bush along with it so if the bush starts rotating what will happen again there will be friction between this outer curved surface of the bush that is this surface and this inner curved surface of the body so friction will result because since there is a contact between the outer surface of the bush and the inner surface of the body there will be wear and tear due to the friction so again the body will get damaged we have to avoid that so what we will do we will avoid the rotatory motion of this bush inside the body by locking this bush with the body so when this bush is inserted inside the body you can see there is a hole or a rectangular slot provided at this corner this this part this is a hole or a we can see a rectangular slot and there is a snug or a projection here on the bush uh, in this figure the projection or the snug or the rectangular projection which has to be present here is not shown i will show in the next figure but there is a rectangular projection present here or rectangular solid part of the bush present now this rectangular solid part will get fitted inside this rectangular slot so in short we can say there is a lock and key mechanism for the bush as well as the body so first we will insert the bush and when we insert this bush inside the body the rectangular projection of the bush which will be present here will get fit inside the rectangular slot which is present on the body here so that this bush will get locked with the body and now even when the shaft is inserted and it starts rotating the tendency or the bush will not rotate 
inside the body so ultimately the friction between the outer surface of the bush and the inner surface of the body is or oh, is completely removed due to no motion of the bush but since the shaft is inserted inside the bush and the shaft is rotating so there will be friction between this outer surface or the lateral surface of the shaft and this inner curved surface of the bush so friction is there ultimately there will be wear and tear of the material so bush may get damaged so even if the bush get this gets damaged we can remove this part and replace it with the new bush because the cost of the bush will be much lower than the cost of the body so it is not practical or desirable to replace the body instead of replacing the bush hence we use the bush inside the body so even that if the bush material gets uh, eroded or there is a wear and tear we can easily replace the bush uh, other than that in order to reduce the friction between the shaft and the bush also we use a lubricating oil that is we will insert the disc we will insert the bush and after inserting the shaft inside the bush we will put lubricating oil so that there is no friction or the friction is reduced between this lateral surface of the shaft and this inner curved surface of the bush so in order to provide or to insert the lubricating oil we have a slot provided over the bush you can see there is a rectangular hole this is a rectangular hole which is present over the upper surface of the bush so that when the oil is inserted it can rest inside this hole so this hole is nothing but the lubricating oil hole or the lubricating oil hole provided to place the lubricating oil inside the bush so when we will insert the lubricating oil over this hole it will gradually pass inside this slot of the bush so the friction between the shaft and the bush will be reduced so this was the exploded view of the footstep bearing the main part is the body having slots or for the foundation or this foundation slots for inserting the foundation bolts so that the body can be bolted with the ground to provide a support the second part is the disc the third part is the bush and the fourth part is the shaft and the fifth part of course was the cylindrical pin used to lock the disc with the body now this is the complete assembly drawing you can see here the lower part is the body or the lower part of the body uh, is uh, rectangular in shape rectangular block whereas the upper part is cylindrical in shape the second part is the disc now the disc is inserted inside the body and it is locked with the bottom portion of the body by using this cylindrical pin now the third fourth part was the push now this bush this is the bush which is fitted inside the body now you can see the bush and the body this is the body this is the bush they are locked by using a rectangular key this is the projection which was which i was talking about you can see this is a rectangular projection which is an integral part of the bush now this rectangular projection gets fitted inside the rectangular slot of the body so that the finally the bush is locked with the body again this top hole is provided for lubricating oil and finally we will insert the shaft from the above portion so when this shaft is inserted it starts rotating because it is a power transmitting shaft or it will be in motion the lubricating oil which is present here will slowly or gradually pass inside the bush and the friction between the shaft and the bush will be reduced now we will see the detailed drawing so in the exam you will get this as figure as the question here it is given as details of footstep bearing so these are the various parts which will be used in the assembly or to draw the assembly drawing of the footstep bearing so this is a detailed drawing in exam you will get this question now you can see uh, for the first part we have taken half section that is half section is given similarly for the bush the half section is given for the disc the half section is given and for shaft there is no section and for the pin there is no section so basically in the question we have been given the half section of each and every part now we will see each part one by one the first part is the body now the body is made up of cast iron the quantity is one you can see it is here written as c dot i c dot i means cast iron so the body is made up of cast iron and its quantity is one the second part is the bush now the bush 
is made up of G dot M. So G dot M indicates gun metal. Its quantity is also one. So second part bush is made up of gun metal. Its quantity is one. Now the third part is shaft. Now shaft is made up of MS. That is mild steel, and its quantity is also one. Mild steel quantity one. The fourth part is gun metal. G. The fourth part that is the disc. Disc is made up of gun metal. G dot M. Its quantity is one. And finally, the last part that is the pin. It is made up of mild steel. Quantity is one. Students, why we have to see this all? That is the material the quantity. In uh, after drawing the assembly drawing, we have to prepare the bill of material or the part list. Now, what is that bill of material or the part list? Bill of material or part list is a chart or a table indicating the different parts of the assembly, their material used, and their quantity. While drawing assembly drawing, it is very important to draw the bill of material or the part list, which indicates the different name of the different parts, the material from which the parts are made up of, and the quantity in which they are present. So we have to use this data, that is the material, the quantity, in order to prepare the bill of material or the part list after drawing the assembly diagram. Now we will see the parts one by one. So this is the first part. That is a body made up of cast iron and quantity is one. Now you can see this body is symmetrical. If we cut the body from the top view, that is, if we cut by using this center line along this section, that is this, the part on the above side, whereas the part on the lower side are same. You can see these slots are present on upper side also, and these slots are present on the lower side also. So basically, there are four slots: one, two. Three and four, and these are the foundation slots used for inserting the foundation bolts. If we cut the body from the top view, from the center, the part above and part below are same. Similarly, if we cut the body from the top view along this center line, that is a vertical center line, the part on the left will be same as part on the right, except the rectangular projection which is present on the bush or the rectangular slot, that is this slot. Which is present on the body. Otherwise, this body is symmetrical when cut along the horizontal cylinder uh, center line as well as when cut along the vertical cylinder uh, center line. So, what this means? This means that when we will draw the sectional front view, whatever we draw on the left hand side, same figure has to be drawn on the right hand side. That is the pattern which will draw which we will draw on the left hand side. Same pattern has to be drawn on the right hand side. Only there is one exception that this slot is present only on the right hand side. You can see the top view of this slot. The slot is given here. The width of the slot is given as 8 mm. Whereas there is no slot on the right hand side. There is no slot present on the right hand side. So this slot will lie only on the left hand side. So when we will draw the same pattern on the right hand side, we will draw the same pattern. But this slot has not to be drawn on the right hand side. Similarly, here we have a pin hole. Here in the question, the pin hole is not, has not been provided. In order to lock the disc with the body, a pin hole has to be provided here. But since it has been not shown here, we will show in the assembly diagram. The pin hole will come only on the left hand side. It will not come on the right hand side. So the entire pattern on the left and the right will be same except the rectangular slot on the left side and the pin hole on the left side. Here we have we will draw the top view of the pin. Now we will see the dimensions of the body. So the overall height you can see the height of the body is equal to 18 first 18 plus 15 plus 40 plus 15. So if we add all this dimension we will get the total height as 40 plus 15 55 55 plus 15. 70 70 plus 18 88 so the total height of the body is 88 mm now what is the length of the body you can see from the front view this is the sectional front view this diagram is a sectional front view and this is the top view the total length of the body as observed from the front view is 200 mm now in the top view you can see the length will be same this length will be equal to 200 mm that is distance from here to here whereas the width which is observed from the top view is nothing but 130 mm so the height of the body is 88 mm the length of the body is 
200 mm whereas the width of the body as observed from the top view is 130 mm now the bottom part of the body is rectangular in shape as the top view is what rectangle but the upper part of the body is cylindrical in shape this upper part is nothing but cylindrical in shape now we will observe the different diameters now you can see the largest diameter or the large part diameter of the largest cylindrical part is 94 so the diameter from here to here is 94 now we have a hole inside the body at the lower part you can see it is written as 568 so there is a hole at the bottom portion which will be of diameter 68 now this hole is present on the top also that is the distance from here to here that is this distance will also be equal to 68 so the hole on the bottom of diameter 68 mm is also present on the top of diameter 68 mm then the third hole is of diameter 71 mm you can see this here it has been written as diameter as 71 mm now i will show these holes in the question so this was the bush the diameter from here to here that is this diameter or we can say you can see this lower part the diameter from here to here of this hole at the bottom is 68 similar diameter of this upper part you can see this upper curve part this hole is also 68 whereas the diameter of this part which is in the middle will be equal to 71 so the outer diameter that is from here to here will be 94 it is part of diameter of this part the diameter at the bottom that is of this hole bottom hole will be 68 similar diameter of this hole which is on the upper side will be 68 and the bottom hole diameter of the hole in the middle that is this portion will be what 71 mm so basically for the upper part of the body we have three diameters outer diameter 94 the bottom diameter 68 similarly the upper diameter of this part from here to here will be 68 and this diameter that is the inside diameter will be 71 now what is the height of the hole of 68 mm now this hole of height 60 of 68 mm is having height as 15 mm you can see here 15 mm so the distance from here to here is 15 mm so the hole of diameter 68 mm will have a height of 15 mm similarly the hole on the upper part of diameter 68 that is this hole from here to here is having a height of 15 mm so the holes of diameter 68 mm on the bottom and on the top will have a height of 15 mm on the top and 15 mm on the bottom also but the hole in the middle which is of diameter 71 mm is of height 40 mm students you can see that here it is not given as full section but while drawing we will draw the full section so basically we have got three diameters 94 68 and 71 now we will come over the snug recess now what is the snug recess it is nothing but a slot a rectangular slot which is provided to insert the snug which is present on the bush students as told earlier the bush has to be locked with the body so in order to lock the body we have provided here slot now this is a hole a rectangular slot so what will happen the position which is present on the bush that is a rectangular position will get fitted inside this slot and finally the bush will be locked with this body now what are the dimension of this slot or the rectangular slot you can see the width or the length is 3 mm it is given here 3 mm so the distance from this point to this point will be what 3 mm the height of this slot is equal to 8 mm you can see here 8 mm so the distance from this point to this point is equal to 8 mm so the height of this slot is 8 mm the length of the slot is 3 mm now the width width will be observed from the top view you can observe from the top view the width is given as 8 mm this is the hole which is shown in the top view this is the hole you can see these two lines one line is drawn here and the second line is drawn here so the width of this rectangle slot will be what 8 mm so finally the length of the slot is 3 mm the height of the slot is 8 mm and the width observed from the top view is 8 mm now we will see the dimension of this slot which are used for inserting the foundation bolts now the length of this slot is what 20 mm you can see this length is what 20 mm whereas the width is 15 mm so these slots are having width as 15 mm 15 and length as 20 mm 
now in order to draw this slot we have to first mark the center line of this slots now you can see the horizontal center line that is this line is at a distance of 30 mm from the bottom whereas this vertical center line is at a distance of 28 mm from the left hand side so in order to draw this foundation slot first we have to mark the center line so first we will draw the horizontal center line which will be at a distance of 30 mm from this bottom line and then we will draw the vertical center line which will be at a distance of 28 mm from the this line that is a line on the right hand side similarly in order to draw these slots first we have to draw the center line again this horizontal center line will be at a distance of 30 mm from this line whereas this vertical center line will be at a distance of 28 mm from the left side that is from this line so we will draw all the slots in the same manner so the overall dimension of the slots are width is 15 mm length is 20 mm the horizontal center line is at a distance of 30 mm from this horizontal line whereas the vertical center line is at a distance of 28 mm from this vertical line so for drawing all the slots we have to use the same dimension now you can see from this from the top this rectangle is clearly visible this rectangle is clearly visible so we have drawn a dark rectangle that is a top view of the bottom portion of the body from the top view this diameter 94 will also be visible since it is the largest diameter so we have drawn a dark circle you can see this is a dark circle drawn this dark circle is nothing but of diameter 94 mm then we have here two circles one is dotted and one is dark now if we observe this body from the top view this inside circle which is of diameter 68 present on the lower side as well as the upper side will be visible so it is drawn as dark circle of diameter 68 but this hole which is of diameter 71 will not be visible from the top view since it is going inside so this circle which is of diameter 71 mm will be hidden because it is not visible from the top view so it is drawn as a dotted circle next here in the question the pin slot has not been given but we will have here a pin slot now this hole which is provided for the pin will be of diameter 4 mm in the question it is given as 4 mm you can see here this pin is of diameter 4 mm and it is of length 12 mm so the pin is 12 mm long and 4 mm in diameter so we have to draw the pin hole here the length that is the length will be 6 mm since half of the pin will go inside the body